Hi guys, welcome to third grade, chapter 12, lesson nine, and hopefully your very last math lesson of third grade. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. So it wants us to draw lines to divide the shape into equal parts as shown in the fraction. Now, we don't really care what the top number is, we wanna divide it into the number that is the bottom. So this one's a three, so I'm gonna go up here, and now there are one, two, three chambers there, columns, okay? This one, I want eight columns. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight going across, so I'm just gonna draw a line straight down from each one. Don't make it harder than it's gotta be, guys. Now there are eight columns there. This one is half. It's harder to draw it the other way. I'm just gonna draw it straight across. Doesn't always have to be there, okay? Now, these guys, four equal parts. Well, I have, okay. So, if I had this down where it was supposed to be, okay, I would have, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 altogether. If I break that into four, 12 divided by four is three. So I just have to break this up so that there are three in each one. Okay. Now, I'm gonna let you guys do five and six. You can totally do this. Okay. All right. Robert divided a hexagon into three equal parts. Show how he might have divided the hexagon. Write the fraction that names each part of the whole you divided. So we want our hexagon into three equal pieces. So I'm gonna put a little dot in the middle, okay? And I know that a hexagon has six sides, so that just means that I need two of the sides for each one. So I'm gonna go from this corner to my dot. That's one side, that's two sides which means it goes here. Now one, two sides, now I have three equal parts. And they're in thirds. Okay. Show how you might divide a shape into eight equal parts. Okay, well first we gotta know how many boxes there are all together. So we gotta count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So there's 24 parts, okay? 24 divided by eight is three. So I'm going to break it up into three again. I'm just gonna make sure that I have three in each one. Um, right there, and then right there. Okay, I know it's all squiggly lines, but all I did was count how many boxes I had total. I divided that by the number it gave me. That's three, 24 divided by eight is three. So each one of these now has three boxes in it. Okay? All right, guys, we're gonna go over onto the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always. And we're gonna do the spiral, last spiral review of third grade. Let's get it done, guys. All right, it says Lil drew, Lil drew the figure below. Is the shape open or closed? Well, there is no opening here, so it is closed. Okay, how many line segments does a shape have? One, two, three, four, five, five line segments. All right, where would a square be placed on this Venn diagram? It has right angles and all sides are of equal length. It would be in the middle because it has both of those things. So, It would be where the two circles overlap, right in there, okay? 
where would a rectangle be placed on the Venn diagram? Okay, there are right angles, but not all of the sides are of equal length. So it would be over here in the right angle. In the circle labeled right angle. All right, guys, congratulations. You are done with third grade math. Good luck in fourth grade, guys.